Hey, what's up, guys? I came back from one more tournament. Uh, I came second. There were like 82 players. Fujairah Chess Club from United Arab Emirates. They organized it in correlation with a friend of mine, Yeftich from Parachin. Uh, pretty strong tournament. Uh, I believe more than 10, 15 IMs. Uh, lots of uh, talented young players with uh, low ratings. And uh, it's extremely, extremely difficult when you play against those kids or young old players, 16, 18, 20 years old, and they're just IMs and strong FMs, and they have like very low ratings. Anyways, I want to show you how my tricky dragon line bishop d7 that i showed you like i believe a month or two two months ago still works and i'll show you how does it work on a level against 2200 guy and 2400 guy uh, in the first round i played against uh, lazic uh, that uh, young player uh, played and went for the main line uh, he's rated for example 2000 and he's currently playing one tournament where he's performing easily above 2200 FIDE. So uh, he went for bishop e3, bishop g7, f3, castles, queen d2, 96 long castles. And you know, for tournament games, I always use d5 for blitz, exclusively bishop d7. What is uh, very funny about it, uh, he's been practicing with football player Dan Jovelic and I taught Jovelic to play bishop d7. Interesting enough, this kid didn't know how to play against it. He played g4, I played rook c8, he played h4, I played knight e5, and they all think when they play king b1 that I can't play queen a5. Then they spend a good amount of time calculating knight d5, queen d2, knight e7, king a8, take on d2, usually they take by rook, rook c on e8, I, they have to play and bring the knight back to d5. Actually, let me show you. Knight e5, queen d2, knight e7, king h8, rook d2. They all probably see up to this moment where I played both moves, but of course winning one is knight f3. Uh, and when they take, you just go rook takes e3. You got a bishop here. You're going to take on g4. Uh, you're completely winning. And they already spend like 30 seconds, almost every single of uh, my opponent in the past, and they finally play something. Most of these guys go with a straightforward h5. Uh, and of course, when they play h5, you just know whoever followed the, and whoever checked the video, you just go with the knight sac, knight f3, then you go for the rook sac, rook takes c3. They can't take by pawn because of knight e4, and then all of a sudden, all these things would be deadly winning for you. So they got to take by Quinn. He captured by Quinn, of course. And when I captured, played bishop g4. There are two moves, bishop e2 and bishop g2. Guys, don't forget, I'm down a rook. I got seven pawns at the moment. I only have two pawns for the rook. He played bishop e2 and I played knight e4. In order to play this line, uh, you got to be uh, theoretically or fantastically prepared for white, or you just have to be in terms of your calculation, like an amazing player who's going to calculate everything and be able to find what to do here. Uh, the thing is, they can't play anything here, uh, but to go with the move uh, rook to d3, but everyone, even this guy went with bishop d4, I play d5, then they spend another like 30 seconds because I'm just blitzing out. Uh, and since the time control was three minutes plus two seconds, uh, then you just, uh, I just added like three minutes and 20 seconds, for example, on my clock because I was blitzing out. He played rook g1. I took, gave check on d2, took on f3, threatening rook and bishop, brought my knight back here. His bishop was here. He cannot take because I play rook a8. I played knight e4. He took on g6. And he resigned because... Uh, it's minus five, minus six, according to the engine. I'm threatening knight c3, knight g3. Okay, he played b5, 
bishop h6 and blundered even this one because when the when the card down, goes downhill everything goes downhill but the thing is it's already minus six and they won this game then two rounds after i played against my ex-student serbian junior champion under 20 uh international master milosevic i once again played bishop d7 and it's quite interesting i taught him this line to play with the black pieces against weaker guys and uh, in blitz and as a surprise and now he had to face the line himself he played h4 you know that i always play first brook c8 and then he went with uh, this pawn to h5 after knight takes h5 position is already cool because any g4 you just go knight g3 and for all of you who forgot you just take on h uh, f1 play knight e5 threatening knight c4 and when they go like Rook h1, knight c4, queen f2. You just do this shocking queen f6 and you give up the pawn on h7, but you made them on the king side, on the queen side. So it's an amazing trick. And uh, he spent like two minutes here, maybe, yeah, maybe even a little bit more and played knight d on e2. Uh, not enough. He stops knight g3, but I played knight e5, threatening knight c4. He played b3 and I urgently came with my queen on a5. Now c3, knight is just weak he played instantly king b1 and here i analyzed with one of my students tab modget um uh we just analyzed knight c4 and believe it or not knight c4 wins after b takes c4 they can't stop rook c3 rook b4 queen a3 and all these mating threats unfortunately i didn't play that and finish him off immediately i played knight f3 which was okay and okay could be and still winning if I take by rook. So a golden rule for all of you dragon guys, don't give up your dragon bishop just like that. I gave it up on c3. I took by queen and when he played queen f2, position became, in my opinion, roughly uh, equal or let's just say completely unclear or at least with a good counter chances for white because he had a bishop pair and strong dark squares. I spent like a minute and a half looking for something, played this one. And when he sacrificed on h5, which was good, and played e5, which was really nice, because I can take, because he would just go with this and give me check and mate me. Uh, because if I go here, it's not mate. Queen g3 is not mate because of queen g6, sorry. Uh, but the problem is he's just going to include first bishop to d3 and go with a rook on g1 and it's mate. This is a, ni a nice move. I spent a minute and a half and found practically very nice move. I captured by pawn. He captured, played rook d8. Uh, he played rook to d8 and played bishop to d3. When I played h4, he came up with check, came here, and I am happy with my game with the black pieces here because I got how many? I got three pawns. And rook for two bishops and i also have a passed pawn eventually i managed to win this actually it didn't take me uh, so much i believe that he played queen on h3 um somehow i somehow i, I played e4 and mated him on a1 how did it happen i don't know i just want to tell you that uh, i managed to win this position and i believe all, all, all already here I have quite a decent game and I shouldn't have any problems after rook g8 and rook to g3, which basically happened in the game and I won. I, I remember that I came here, took on f3 and played some e4 and eventually won. And I want to show you one more game against the kid who's like 2350 Fide and his rating in Blitz is like 2000. That's what I'm telling you. So they, they just don't play it enough. And I know that uh, he likes to play against the main dragon. So I wanted to... Uh, confuse him with something else so after c5 knight f3 i didn't want to face bishop b5 at moscow line so i played g6 he just went with uh, uh, d4 uh, i captured played bishop g7 knight c3 knight c6 bishop e3 knight f6 and he went for bishop c4 i played castle and he played bishop to b3 now I play d6 to go into the main line of the dragon if he plays f3, but he played h3. Nice. Pull one. He stops knight g4. This is another dragon line. And here you immediately jump with your knight on a5. He went short castle. I played a6 and he played f4. 
I took on b3, took his bishop here, and b5. For example, about this line, I learned about one of the best Serbian and top Serbian GMs, Ivan Ishevic, 2600 Fide. He won already three games with it, and he told me about this trick. They can't take on uh, a b5 because you go bishop b7. He played already three games and three tournament wins. Uh, this guy played e5. I captured knight d5. And now he can't jump knight c6 because knight takes c3. And he took on d5. And after knight f5 offered me a draw. I didn't want to accept the draw offer because I have nothing uh, to lose here. And I can hardly lose because his pawns are broken. And I have this bishop here and pretty good bishop on g7. I played queen e4. And now he doesn't have time to take my bishop because I would include this queen e3 check. He came with knight e7. I played king h8. And now, once again, this one is hanging. He played uh, this move. And this is important because I keep the bishop pair. I played bishop b7. He captured. And in position like this, practically after e6, uh, uh, e5 is hanging. C2 is hanging. This knight on e7 is trapped. He played e6 after quite a while thinking. I captured. Knight is trapped, but he has to play this. I played bishop g7. Uh, knight is still trapped. I want to play like rook e8 and to win it. He played uh, rook e1. I played bishop c2. And uh, when he played before, I played bishop to b3. Afterwards, uh, I just, he played like, I don't know, knight c6. I just set my bishop on d5. Uh, knight d4, played king f7, played rook a1. And this position I managed to win relatively easy because he's not threatening anything. Knight b5 is not threatened since the bishop is defending it. And I uh, won this game, actually won this end game relatively easy. So just like you see and what I wanted to show you, Dragon works very successfully in Blitz on all kinds of levels. Thanks for watching. And I just want to tell you one more thing. First uh, place was a guy from India. Um, I was really playing well game, but uh, certainly I just said, uh, I, I, I was just having fun. If, if these Indian guys um, weren't participating, I would have gone and I would have, uh, you know, like taken the first place without any problems. But usually I lose against Indian players and that Indian I am beat me. He was completely lost, but doesn't matter. I blundered mate in one and I came second. Thanks all for watching and hope you enjoyed in this dragon video. Bye.